It is Wednesday, January 26, 2022. Welcome to the latest edition of the JC24 Sports Note on YouTube. Uh, last night, we actually had the announcement uh, of the Hall of Fame voting for Major League Baseball, and only one player got in, at least in terms of the Baseball Writers of America, and that is David Ortiz, uh, the Boston Red Sox legend. Uh, who we also remember started his career with the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Big Poppy is was pretty much a, a lock to get in, even though he only garnered a little uh, a little under seventy eight percent of the vote. Did, uh, would have liked to actually make that a little bit larger, but honestly, outside of uh, Big Poppy and Kurt Schilling, were the only two really deserving enough to get on. We saw the final votes, uh, at least in terms of eligibility, through the Writers Association for guys like Barry Bonds and and Roger Clemens. Uh, Manny Ramirez continues to garner enough. Uh, uh, his numbers continue to go up, although I don't see him getting in. He's got too much ground to make up, and he's only got about four more years left of eligibility. Um, there's, a, there's, some, uh, there's a few others in there. Ryan Howard barely got any kind of consideration uh, so you're gonna see some names dropping off very very soon um, Alex Rodriguez is probably not going to get in with all of his controversies but uh, Ortiz was the logical choice he's got 548 home runs all time uh, the 17th highest on the list uh, really you never saw a whole lot of bad about Big Poppy. He was one of the more likable guys in baseball, even if he killed your team. Whether he, If you were a Yankee fan, you had to respect him. If you were an Indians fan, you had to respect him. If you were a Rays fan, you had to, exp uh, you had to respect him. Just wherever he went, just you can't get over that smile. It's a, you know, Ken Griffey Jr. had that sweet swing, but it was that million-dollar smile that just couldn't make you hate the guy no matter what. You, lo you, you love to hate the guy when he's killing your team, but the second he's out of the batter's box, you know, it's uh, you. You wish he was. You wish not only he was on your team, but also you were the guy buying him a beer or vice versa down at the local pub after the game. Uh, to, especially with uh, to, with his his charity work, his foundations, um, his his shooting incidents a few years ago where he was shot and um, and you know very very nearly cost him his life uh, from many of the reports. Uh, to even going to his his legendary Super Bowl commercial in 2020 uh, for Hyundai with Smart Pack, um, the 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 self parking car that actually had him and Rachel Dratch and Captain America Chris Evans and John Krasinski from The Office, you know, three Boston natives and and Poppy was you know living in the apartment upstairs the whole time. Uh, I've always said it about Hyundai's worst cars on the road, best commercials on TV, at least in terms of. Uh, the major manufacturers out there. But the idea of Poppy getting in and somebody like Kurt Schilling not, uh, Kurt Schilling has, is, is one of the last few pitchers from that area to make a legitimate case about being able to get in. We're not going to see anybody get to 300 wins really anytime soon with the way that the ball's kind of been watered down and pitchers aren't you know, throwing as long as they are. He's in the 3,000 strikeout club, uh, you know, nearly missed out a couple of years ago. Asked to be taken off the ballot and kind of put this in the hands of the Legends Committee, which he still may end up getting in anyway with. Um, but the problem with Schilling wasn't his on-field play. We, we know he's won a couple of Cy Youngs. He's got a few World Series rings. Uh, we know that his bloody sock from... Game six of the 04 ALCS against the Yankees uh, is actually in the Hall of Fame. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but it's basically, Schilling was also a very good color analyst on ESPN, a uh, booth analyst and everything, but it's a lot of his political beliefs and some of the, some of the statements and stances he's taken, you know, throughout the latter days of his playing career and even after retirement that uh, that really rubs the writers the wrong way. When you align yourself 
with a with a far right wing um borderline extremist type of of news organization like he had uh, a few years back uh and then you actually had all the uh, all the chaos with uh with uh the January 6th insurrection a little um just over a year ago now it's certainly not going to lean on on voters and yes you're supposed to be voting for the player but there are other intangibles out there that go into that uh that's also part of the reason why you're likely uh, you, that you're not going to see guys like Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, Alex Rodriguez, uh, Roger Clemens, and more importantly, Barry Bonds, get into the Hall of Fame really anytime soon. They may get in through the Legends Committee. However, this is going to break the forbidden door of that entire steroid era. If, if one of these guys gets in, it's going to break that door with an axe and it's going to burn the pieces uh, in its wake. It just opens up a whole realm of possibility. Do you acknowledge their contribution to the game? Honestly, how could you not? Sosa and McGuire, their home run chase, uh, to, you know, in uh, in pursuit of Roger Maris, was some of the best baseball that any of us can ever remember in our lifetime. And we got to people got to remember that was over 20 years ago. Fox was broadcasting those games. They didn't have Fox Sports 1. They didn't have a national network. They were doing regional networks. They didn't have their own ESPN type network at that point. So they were broadcasting Cubs and Cardinals games in primetime TV going up against, you know, shows like Seinfeld, Friends, ER, etc. in the middle of the week. It wasn't a Saturday at night thing. It wasn't a Sunday night thing. It's a, it was in the middle of the week. I, if memory serves correct, McGuire broke the record on a Tuesday night on national TV uh, to get number 62 to pass Maris. Um, and then, but Bonds didn't actually get nearly the level of coverage when he made the assault on 70, uh, at 73 uh, to back in 2001 because Barry Bonds was just not a likable guy. It's... Um, he was always standoffish, even before his head grew, basically to the size of a doorway. Um, before he allegedly began juicing, and there's very—it's never officially been proven, but the court of public opinion and really just the on uh, the on-field antics and actions really speak for themselves here. Uh, but for those guys to get in. Do you put a star? Do you put an asterisk next to their name? Do you give them their own wing so this way they're in? Um, but if they get in, does it actually kind of break down a different door to where other guys like like Pete Rose or Shoeless Joe Jackson get in? Because Charlie Hustle still not in the Hall of Fame, probably never will for betting on his own team. Shoeless Joe Jackson was one of the only guys uh, not to participate in the Black Sox scandal. Uh, with, but still was a part of it and is a victim of circumstance well over 100 years later. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Does this actually open the door to uh, some of the other names that we would expect? However, without the controversies, won't get in unless the Legends Committee uh, kind of steps in and, and I don't want to say uh, uh, exudes their authority. Now, remember with the Legends Committee, that's only a 16-member committee, but you still have to hit that 75% threshold, so you need 12 successful votes. Those will actually be coming up here uh, in the not-too-distant future, so there's still a possibility of some guys getting in uh, you know, from that era, but let me know, what uh, would it actually taint the Hall of Fame for some of those guys to get in knowing what we know now as it, and, and even throughout their playing career, and now with the age of social media really starting to expand, more and more evidence and investigative journalism has come out over the years with those regards. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, as always, you can visit me online at jcbluenote24.blogspot.com. Uh, the look for the next episode of the Wise Guy Sports Show with myself and, and my partner Mike Martinez to be sometime hopefully here early February just in time for the Super Bowl and, uh, and enjoy, the, uh, uh, enjoy the rest of the NFL playoffs uh, for my personal aspect go Rams and, uh, and 
uh, to look for more content coming up soon. And also enjoy the NBA and NHL as, as they're getting ready to uh, head into their All-Star breaks. Take care, guys. We will see you soon.